Hola people, this is Giga Titan here, and it's video crazy day, so I'm going to be getting plenty of PBR videos up today, and it's only PBR, nothing else, so yeah. Uh, anyways, I'm using more of the random trick room teams, and I actually get to use, uh, I this time around I uh, have Armaldo on there, because uh, I haven't really gotten ever a chance to use him, and I'd really like to be able to try him out and see how he performs on just random Wi-Fi. And so we're battling uh, a team against Tommy. Uh, they have a Giratina, Salamence, Heatran, Marowak, Empoleon, and Kyogre. Hopefully that Kyogre doesn't give me trouble. So he is my least favorite because of that nasty water spout. It's really powerful, especially on a scarfed one. Or actually more like on a um, specked one. But that's uh, besides the point. Anyways, so it is a Lagoon Coliseum. I actually really like that place. I really like this place because, like, you know, like all the palm trees and by the sea. It's kind of cool. Anyways, uh, I go ahead and I send out Cacturn and Bronzong, and they send out Giratina and Heatran. So I go ahead and I start off with a Sucker Punch because I knew they are going to try to do a Shadow Force, so I was like, you know, whatever. So I hit them, and it does about half their HP, which is pretty good uh, considering Giratinas are very bulky. Heatran goes ahead and uses a heat wave, and it does a lot of damage to both of them. Would have knocked out Cacturn if he had not hung with the Focus Sash, but actually Bronzong resisted the hit pretty well. I was pretty surprised. The other dude might, you know, three fourths, but uh, Bronzong is this one has a lot of extra special defense uh, just to com combat most of the uh, Ubers I find here on Wi-Fi. So Bronzong goes ahead and protects itself. I'd forgotten about uh, Dark Void or uh, not Dark Void. Uh, Shadow Force, they can go through Protect, but I assumed that they'd go for Cacturn for some reason, and uh, they did, so they went ahead and they used it on Cacturn and uh, knocked it out, And uh, but it was worth it because I needed to get him, uh, Giratina back on the ground so he wouldn't uh, cause any damage, or well, so I could actually hit him because I can't hit him in midair. So go ahead and I send out Golem now, and he's pretty much the star of this battle. He does... He actually takes out every single Pokemon. It's amazing. Like just um, this first one is, you know, obviously because of four times effectiveness. But still, I mean, Golem's pretty. Like I never really get a chance to use him. Uh, to use him, so be seeing him be able to, you know, knock out all these guys in like one hit is pretty awesome. Um, and uh, so Giratina goes down, and so does Heatran because of the earthquake, and it was really powerful. He has like 300, I think 394. I th that may not be right, but he Golem can get very high attack, so uh, he just never gets used because of his speed. So they send out a Salamence, and then they also send out a Kyogre, and this is where I had to make another explosion decision because I was intimidated and I only had uh, one guy left, which was Porygon 2. Or no, was it Porygon 2? Might have yeah, might have been. So I just had to do Explosion here, and I there was really nothing else I could do because if I'd used Earthquake, Salamence would have probably done an Earthquake right back and knocked out, I don't know, I'm not sure if it would knock out uh, my guys, but I don't think I could be able to knock out Kyogre in one hit with Earthquake or Gyroball even combined, so... Yeah, anyways, that's the battle, guys. Um, Golem did outstanding in this battle. I was really happy with him because he's just like, wow, that's, he didn't do a lot of damage. So I'm going to get a battle right up after this one's up. Comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next battle. So, yeah, see you guys next time.